Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the past, present, and future energies for you in love. And we're also going to look at the energies between you and this person that you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's jump right in for Taurus, Spirit, Angels, Guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Taurus regarding love? For Taurus regarding love. Scoots up. For Taurus. Okay. Let's see what we have for you. Past energy, the Ace of Wands. Present energy, the moon, Pisces energy there. And near future energy, the six of swords. On your side, we have the page of pentacles and the hangman. And on your person's side, the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and the three of swords. Overall energy is the three of wands. So waiting, waiting for a result, waiting for a message back, waiting for confirmation, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. Let me move these here so that I can put the overall energy over here. All right, let's get some energy oracles and then I'll start clarifying. It's interesting because the past um, energy is telling me that um, I'm, I'm sensing that there was some sort of momentum, like a spark, something beginning in a way, something that maybe was exciting or different for you regarding love. But in the present moment, I see you kind of having doubts, not having clarity, feeling a bit, I, I'm sensing that someone's feeling lost a bit. I oh, need to know what are the energies surrounding Taurus for love? What are the energies surrounding Taurus? Unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. This could be for you or for the person you're dealing with. Can I get one more, please? One more energy for Taurus regarding love. Paralyzing fear. Interesting. Anxiety, fear, paralysis. Fear is holding you back. So I sense that some of you are dealing with, you know, if this isn't you, this is your person, of course, but for the sake of this reading, I'm focusing on Taurus because I'm reading for Taurus, okay? I, I feel like whoever this is, there's something going on right now that's, un, uh, okay, I'm getting the word uncomfortable. It's a weird word. It's like you're being forced outside of your comfort zone, though. It's not like you know, inner discomfort. I feel like someone is trying to figure something out in the present regarding love or regarding a person. Maybe you're trying to figure someone out. Maybe you're trying to get answers, clarity about their intentions or where this is going. Maybe there's things that have been unsaid with the moon, right? But all of this is leading to a departure of some sort, six of swords which is very interesting to me because in the recent past, like I said, we had the Ace of Wands. So something clearly was moving along, started, was, I feel like with this Ace of Wands, there was almost like a kickstart. And now it's like someone wants to move past that. Some of you, this could be career related. Maybe you're just thinking that, you know, you started a new job or a position recently, but it wasn't what you thought it was going to be because the moon is about illusions as well. So this moon could also be that someone thought, oh, I was gonna get such and such or I was gonna have this type of connection or be with this type of person, but maybe that's not the case. Bottom of the deck, walking away. Yeah, I feel like someone's thinking about a departure. Um, so let's get some clarity here. For Taurus, let me just move this a little bit more. Okay. 
Can we get some clarity spirit for Taurus? What do we need to know about these energies for Taurus? Tell me about the Three of Wands. Because this is the overall energy. This is why things are happening. I feel like, Taurus, you're waiting for something with this Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands? Eight of Wands. Movement, communication. Maybe you're waiting for an answer or response. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like some of you are waiting for something new in a way. Again, some of you, this could be job related. Yeah, Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you, you're not moving, you're not taking action until you have this confirmation, until you have this message, until you hear from this person, until someone brings you an opportunity or an offer that's worth your time. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Five of Swords. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Hmm. I'm getting the word misled. Some of you might have been misled by uh, someone's words, right? Maybe their words don't match their action. Maybe they uh, showed you a certain side of themselves so that you would pay attention. Maybe someone dressed up an offer or whatever new beginning this was. But upon closer inspection, there was something that was not right about that with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is about someone that doesn't play fair, that takes advantage of a situation. Um, it's about someone that's not upfront, right? So I feel like this has to do with a connection, Two of Cups. Others of you, this is still, I feel, job related. Like I'm speaking to a Taurus that's watching this, that this is about a job. Um, I feel like you, you were told something about a new start in a position and it's it wasn't what you were told. And this was like a business partnership or a co-worker, or supervisor or whatever. I think whoever this is, they had their um, sights set on you because you have a lot to offer. You're this queen of pentacles, I feel. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? King of Swords. Clarity. Yeah. The truth. Communication. Tell me about the moon. The Empress. Hmm. Some of you are thinking that this isn't, this is below you or this isn't good enough for you. You deserve to know the truth. You deserve to know you know, to have this clarity. You, you, it's almost like you don't want to be in the dark or you don't want to be misled anymore. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman. Interesting. Um, the Hangman is about some a situation where someone's looking at things from a different angle, a different perspective, and they're getting clarity from that. Um, I think that you found something out, Taurus, or something was revealed to you. And it's causing you to make a change. Um, some of you, you could be, uh, single and dating, and maybe you met some people that you were interested in recently, but it, I feel like the more you meet different people, the more your standards are like narrowed or the more clear you are on what you need. And so your approach to love or dating is changing. The Six of Swords could be that you're leaving this job, this position behind. You're leaving uh, a certain partnership that wasn't fair to you or that was m uh, misleading. Or it could be that you are leaving the past in the sense of like how you approach love. Like you're not doing the same anymore. The same, uh, your approach to love is cannot be the same because it's not working out for you. So you're thinking about something different. I see all those messages so far. What is the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. This is about leaving, leaving, moving on, moving forward, getting on the Chariot and being on the road to success. 
Tell me about the Six of Swords. Knight of Wands. Yeah. Be motivated by something else. I feel like some of you are, are thinking about the future, about what else you could get. King of Pentacles is here. So maybe some of you are thinking that you're, you're needing a partner or a job that fits you that's at your level. Because you're showing up as a Queen of Pentacles and as an Empress, I feel. So I think that this King of Pentacles is kind of like what you could have or what you desire. Someone that matches you. Someone that um, is able to give you what you would give them. Tell me about the six. The King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like some of you are following your heart. I'm also sensing that some of you, you're meeting someone new because of this change. Maybe you are introducing a different type of relationship, something that is more on your level because of the changes you're making, right? If you're raising your standards, if you're being a little bit more picky in your partners, then, or like, like let's say you try something else, like instead of online dating, you decide to do something else. Um, I feel like it's opening the door for a new type of person to show up in your life. Temperance at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius energy. I think that this is someone, yeah, it's almost like someone's um, taking their time with this next uh, cycle, beginning, next start. Um, whatever path you're on here with the Chariot and the Six of Swords, you need it to be different and you're hoping that it's different and I feel like it will be. But I think a lot of you um, right now are waiting. I think it's because of fear, paralyzing fear is here um, the moon is here maybe you just need that clarity before you're able to move forward so for example if you're in that group that is um thinking about the your job you know the fact that you thought this was going to be a certain type of position but it's not let's say you talk to your supervisor and you tell them that you know i need my duties to be changed or i need my job description to be what i actually do you know and you're hoping that that conversation um, puts you back on track. But if it doesn't, I feel like a lot of you are going to be like, bye, I'm leaving. Um, and so you're just waiting for that response. Others of you, if you're with a, an actual individual that told you something that wasn't true, that misled you. Um, like let's say you're dating someone and they presented themselves to be something they clearly are not. I feel like you just want them to tell you the truth. I think you would respect someone that told you the truth. And once you have that answer, you'll decide what to do about this person. But I feel like some of you have one leg out the door kind of energy. So let's go down here to your individual energies. Um, I have you on one side here, Taurus, your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. You have the hangman. So I feel like you're the one that's seeing things differently, thinking before you take a, a step. And then the Page of Pentacles is telling me that a lot of you are thinking about a new opportunity or new offer. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles and the Hangman. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here with the Hangman? Wow, the Lovers and the Tower, Gemini Energy. Some of you, I feel like you're gonna like blow up whatever partnership, arrangement, or person uh, relationship that you have. Maybe something happened with this moon energy. Maybe you realized, yeah, it's like you found something out. There could have been a revelation. There could have been some sort of like aha moment that you had about a partnership, a job. There's the higher font bottom of the deck, which is your energy. But I also think that if you were to leave your situation here, I feel like you, it would cause a tower. I feel like it would be very shocking to people. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles and the Hangman. Why is the Page of Pentacles here with the Hangman? We have the King of Pentacles, again. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so what I see here is someone trying to find courage to go after what they want, which I believe is this King of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. I feel like someone's a bit like, maybe you're burdened by guilt. 
maybe you feel like you have just too much going on right now and you can't just leave. Uh, maybe your finances would take a dip. I think a lot of you are worried about losing something, like losing your stability or losing some sort of security or losing something regards, in regards to money. I think this weighs down on you, you know, because if it were up to you, I think you would be the, this Page of Wands. Page of Wands is only having one wand, right? Not these ten. You're not weighed down by anything. And if anything, the Page of Wands is like, I'm free to do whatever I want, to take whatever risks I want to take. Now, your person has a three of swords. So there's, you know, disappointment here, I feel, or heartbreak or sadness, because I feel like, you know, you're, you have one foot out the door. Tell me about the queen of pentacles and the three of swords. Why is the queen of pentacles here? with the three of swords queen of cups three of cups well when i have the three of cups and the three of swords i think of like a third party uh, interference something involving a different person or another person queen of cups is not this queen of pentacles although i feel like this is somebody that cares about you eight of pentacles i feel like some of you this is work related yeah with the boss perhaps there's the emperor aries energy I feel like if you were in a relationship or a partnership, like a romantic partnership, I think someone else got in the way of your connection or caused problems in your connection. Page of Wands. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. And I think whoever, um, if they did involve another person, they're wanting to like talk about this, work on this, put an effort here with this Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's afraid that you're going to just leave the Fool, Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, the Magician. This person's scared. Yeah, they're scared because they know you're going to do something about whatever happened. So if this is a boss, they're scared that you're going to leave and find a new job. If this is a boyfriend, girlfriend, they're going to be, they're scared you're going to just leave them. I do see that here. Let's get some more insight to your energies can you give me some insight spirit into the connection between taurus and this other individual what guidance what messages can you tell us for this connection between taurus and this other person what do we need to know what do we need to know for taurus and Taurus, you've had this, um, yeah, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, and bottom of the deck, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's almost like Spirit is telling you that it's okay to be worried about finances and career, but that, you know, you're safe. Almost like, you know, don't worry about it. You're going to be okay wherever you're headed towards. Can we get some more energies, please, for Taurus and this person that they are thinking about or dealing with? What do we need to know about Taurus's energy? What do we need to know about Taurus's energy? What do we need to know about Taurus's energy? The fish. Okay, so this is someone that's a bit lost. Like, remember when I said that someone was feeling a bit lost? Yes, this is like someone that... Is kind of lost in the current, you know, directionless, or if anything, they're just going along with wherever the current takes them. They don't really care where they end up. Or I feel like a lot of you don't want to be this this uh, lost anymore. It's like you just want to know. I almost get the sense too that it's almost like you're holding on just because you want this answer, this clarity. And until then, you feel like this flopping fish, right? <laughs> Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What do we need to know for this other individual? What do we need to know for this other person? Wow, the tarantula. Warning, warning, literally, the tarantula. There's something that's not right with this other person. Um, let me look at the tarantula energy real quick. I 
at a crossroads. A great decision must be made. Prioritizing your life's deeper purpose. Refocusing your attention. Choosing wisely, following your intuition. Yeah, it's almost like, I feel like in, on, in your mind, um, this person knows that you are about to make a decision and they are, I feel, very scared about it. Um, I think you're both kind of scared for different reasons. Let me get one more energy for this person. Can you get one more energy for this person that Taurus is has or will be dealing with? And one more energy, please, for Taurus. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So many things remind me of you at the bottom of the deck. I think this person, that they did something that they shouldn't have done. They played with the wrong person, Taurus. That's really what, that's really what this is. Whether they're a romantic partner or a boss, they played with the wrong person. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. And, you know, maybe this person... They're probably kicking themselves right now, but it's a little bit too late. I think once you have your answer, you're basically gone. Um, you're moving in another direction. This is what, you know, it's almost like this is all you needed was this last straw <laughs> to happen for you to bite the bullet. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you want to say hello or if this resonated for you. I'd love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.